All right, hello guys. Gonna be a pretty quick video for you all, but a pretty powerful video, I'd imagine as well. This will allow you to uh, be able to repeat challenges for your score, and then roll back the server and complete it again. But you will be you will keep the score and you will keep the progress. So as you can see on the top of the screen. I have 2025 out of 2500 on my score, rank 60 out of 100. I'm going to complete the Nuka Cola challenge and roll the server back, rejoin, complete it again, and, and whatnot. So, how do I do it? What you're going to need is preferably a Fallout First server, as you can only crash the server on a public server. But you're going to want the Fallout First server to build the armor, power armor. You're gonna get a power armor chassis, right? You're gonna start crafting power armor, but you're gonna have super duper on. Should have a max rank super duper, and just keep crafting the same piece, whatever piece costs the, the cheapest piece you can find of power armor, whatever you want. Just keep spam crafting it nonstop. You're gonna need like thirty thousand of to each priority. required material for that piece. You're gonna need a lot. You're gonna you're gonna sit there and you're gonna craft like. A half hour straight the spamming crafting and all of the duplicated pieces you get from super duper are going to apply to the power armor chassis <clears throat> so what this means is you're going to have a chassis that has hundreds or thousands of pieces of armor on them which in result when you place it down or attempt to place it down in a public server will most of the time crash the server so i have the aol armor which is armor that i use and i'll show you how it works so what I'm going to do is, we'll verify the scoreboard real quick. Top of the screen, 60 out of 100, 20, 25 out of 2,500. My next thing is gold bullion. We'll do this in one take. I'm going to drink the Nuka Cola. Get the challenge, yay. I'm now going to place the armor as quickly as I can, as many times as I can like this. Now I'm rank 61 out of 100, as you saw. And the server is no longer responding. While we wait for this, we'll give a shout out to uh, where I learned this, which was, I believe his name is Vandal Gaming. I haven't seen him posting on YouTube in a while, but uh, search him up, and you might be able to find the video as well. He goes into depth about it. But the general gist is super duper and non-stop crafting on a power armor chassis until you get hundreds and hundreds of pieces maybe thousands it should take you like 60 seconds to scroll through it all that's how you'll know so as we see we are indeed rank 61 we got our gold bullion let's rejoin the server and we'll see if we can complete that challenge again this is not something I would recommend doing. I don't recommend doing any like score glitches because I know Bethesda wants their money. But hey, your account, you do what you want. Another reason I wouldn't recommend doing this glitch is because you are crashing the server for everybody. And you can only do it on adventure servers. You can't do it on a private server. So the only way you can actually do the glitch is by crashing servers for everybody. Just so you can score up a little bit. I don't do this at all. I've done it like twice just to, just for this video. But there we go. Gold bullion doesn't the games. There we go. 250 gold bullion awarded. All right. Do we still have our scoreboard thing? Yeah, we're still rank 61. What about the challenge? Oh wow! Look, we can uh, drink more Nuka Cola. So, I will go ahead and do that one more time. Of course, I have Nanuka Cola on me. Because I gotta go buy it again. Figures. It's dangerous to go alone. Wait, is it's this gonna be enough? Dangerous to go in this groups. Might be enough. It's just dangerous right. out there. So, I actually buy stock it. up here. How many do I need to drink? Watch it be four. I think it is four too. It is four. Fuck. I just need a Nuka Cola. 
whatever. I'll go buy one more Nuka Cola. And just to show you that it works. If you believe me, you can just back out now and go try it for yourself. But like I said, power armor chassis, and you're just gonna spam craft pieces onto that chassis with super duper non stop for like a half hour straight. You're gonna have to stop every now and then to drop like the actual pieces you get in your inventory from it, but you're gonna waste a, you're gonna waste a lot of junk doing this. But if junk isn't a thing to you, and you just want that score, it's really all that matters. And there you go. Got the challenge again completed. So I'm not gonna do it anymore, I'm not gonna crash the server again, but that's how you do it. Um uh, whatever, the video's already long enough. I will go into a private server real quick and show you exactly what this power armor looks like. Another good thing you can use this for, wouldn't recommend it, but do you, if you like, I know the game's kind of dead, so a lot of times just server hopping, you end up getting the same server over and over and over, like the same three servers. And once those are all nuked out, then what? Well, what you can do is use that power armor on those servers and uh, make a new server, you know what I mean? Get rid of that old trash server, get a brand new server. So, this is what it does on a normal server, private server right here. It does nothing. It doesn't create any lag. This is what we're working with. I'll just keep scrolling. Let's see how long it takes to scroll through all of this. This is about how much you're going to want as well. I'm just holding down. Let's get a feel. So that's the end of the list. So yeah, you're going to want about that much. It's so much that I can't even register the amount of weight on it. But yeah, that's what you're going to want. Go to a power armor station. Just keep making the same piece over and over with Super Duper. And some of those two pieces will go onto the power armor chassis. Resulting in, over time, a ridiculous amount of power armor pieces on one chassis. And a lag switch so to speak, or a server shutoff switch. But, that's it for me. Hope this helps you guys. I hope I hope it gets patched, because I hope it doesn't get abused. But then again, I'm making a video, so that's some hypocrite shit. But yeah, enjoy it. Do what you want with it. I could care less about half this shit anymore. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and peace out.